me, Teacher Jean. In this lesson, you will learn about evaluating rational algebraic expressions. Rational algebraic expression is a ratio of two polynomials provided that the denominator is not equal to zero. It is written in the form A over B, where B is not equal to zero. The line there is what we call the fraction bar that denotes division. A is a polynomial and B is also a polynomial. So we have the ratio of two polynomials. When B is equal to zero, the expression is considered undefined. Rational algebraic expression Like any expression, we can evaluate or rewrite rational expressions. Remember that in evaluating algebraic expressions, we replace the variables with the given values and then simplify the resulting expression. For you to understand, let's have the following examples. Evaluate each rational expression using the values of x. Given number 1 to x all over x minus 3. So we're going to replace the value of x which is 1. So 2 times 1 all over 1 minus 3. Then perform the indicated operation. 2 times 1 is equal to 2 over 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 2 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 1. So the value of 2x over x minus 3 when x is equal to 1 is negative 1. Then when x is equal to negative 1, we're going to replace or substitute the value of x which is negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 all over negative 1 minus 3. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So negative divided by negative is positive. So we have positive 2 over 4. Then we're going to divide both numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor which is 2. So 2 divided by 2, we have 1. And 4 divided by 2, we have 2. So the value of 2x all over x minus 3 when x is equal to negative 1 is 1 over 2 or 1 half. For number 2, we have x squared minus 1 all over x plus 4. When x is equal to negative 2, all you have to do is substitute on the given expression. So we have the quantity negative 2 squared minus 1 all over negative 2 plus 4. Now perform the indicated operation. We're going to start with the exponent. The quantity negative 2 squared is equal to positive 4. Minus 1 all over negative 2 plus 4. We're going to subtract and follow the sign of the larger absolute value so we have positive 2 then 4 minus 1 we have 3 over 2 or 1 and 1 half so the value of x squared minus 1 all over x plus 4 when x is equal to negative 2 is 1 and 1 half next the value of x squared minus 1 all over x plus 4 when x is equal to 0 we're going to substitute on the given expression. So we have 0 squared minus 1 all over 0 plus 4. So 0 times 0, still we have 0 minus 1, so we have negative 1. Then 0 plus 4, we have positive 4. So any number added or subtracted to 0, the answer is still the number. So the value of x squared minus 1 all over x plus 4 when x is equal to 0 is negative 1 over 4 or negative 1. For number 3, we have 5x minus 3 all over 2x squared plus x plus 3. When x is equal to 1, we're going to substitute or replace all the values of x, which is 1. So 5 times 1 minus 3 all over, we have 2 times the quantity 1 squared plus 1 plus 3. Then perform the indicated operation, we have 5 times 1. We have 5 minus 3 all over. We're going to start with the exponent. 1 squared is equal to 1. Then multiply by 2. The answer is still 2. 
plus 1 plus 3. Then, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. For the denominator, 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 3, we have 6. So, 2 over 6 can be reduced by dividing with the greatest common factor, which is 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So, the value of 5x minus 3 all over 2x squared plus x plus 3 is equal to 1 third or 1 over 3. Next, when x is equal to negative 2, we're going to replace or substitute the value of x which is negative 2. We have 5 times negative 2 minus 3. All over, we have 2 times the quantity of negative 2 squared plus negative 2 plus 3. So perform the indicated operation. 5 times negative 2 is we have negative 10 minus 3. All over, we're going to start with the exponent. Negative 2 times negative 2, we have positive 4. Times 2, we have 8. Then, positive times negative, that will become negative. So we have minus 2 plus 3. So negative 10 plus negative 3 is negative 13. All over, for the denominator, 8 minus 2, we have 6 plus 3, we have 9. So the value of 5x minus 3 all over 2x squared plus x plus 3 when x is equal to negative 2 is negative 13 over 9 or negative 1 and 4 over 9. For number 4, we have x squared minus 3x minus 1 all over 3x plus 2. When x is equal to 1 third, all you have to do is substitute. We have the quantity 1 over 3 squared minus 3 times the quantity 1 over 3 minus 1 all over 3 times 1 over 3 plus 2. Then, perform the indicated operation. We're going to start with the exponent. So, 1 third times 1 third is equal to 1 over 9. Then, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Negative 1 times 1, we have negative 1. Then, copy minus 1. All over, for the denominator, 3 divided by 3. 1 times 1, we have 1. Then, copy plus 2. Then, simplify. We have 1 over 9. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. All over, 1 plus 2 is 3. Then, we can cross multiply. And it gives us 1 minus 9 times 2 is 18. Then copy the denominator 9 all over 3. Then simplify the numerator 1 minus 18 is equal to negative 17 over 9 all over 3. Then multiply numerator times denominator and that is equal to 9 times 3 is 27. So the result is negative 17 over 27. And negative 17 is a prime number, therefore that is the lowest term. So the value of x squared minus 3x minus 1 all over 3x plus 2 when x is equal to 1 third is negative 17 over 27. Now it's your turn. Do it yourself. Find the value of each expression for the given values of x. Don't forget to comment down below your answers. Happy learning! Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. Maraming salamat!